The Story of Kate's Valdez Kate's Valdez was born in December 26, 1998 at Emos Cavite, Philippines. Is of he is a Filipino awardee of the 2012 International Children's Peace Prize in the a in the Netherlands. He is the first Saudi East Asian to receive the International Children's Peace Prize and currently the youngest among the finalists nominated for the recognition being 13 at the time. The prize also included 100,000 euro in cash but he left the money to the spin on his children's project. At the age of two, people would have found Keith's pelvis picking garbage in Manila in Fino's Capte Dam site, which showed just how unfortunate his life was at such a young age. Valdez was beaten by his father and neglected by his mother up till the age of four years old. After they decided not to sell him, in result, he was given a bad reputation and had to provide for himself. Given Valdez's situation at home, he was forced to be scavenged each garbage for food and bring back money to support his father's drugs and alcohol addiction. He escaped from his abusive family at 4 years old and spent his days begging for food on the street in Manila's forest slum area. At night, he could be found sleeping on the top of open graves or in shop doorways. For over one and one half years, Valdez was a Filipino slum street kid who has no permanent place to live, sleep, or receive food from. He eventually started on an outreach group called Club 8586 when he got at older. Manalaysay, after being severely burned falling into a fire, Manalaysay was the mentor of another humanitarian working for street children, CNN hero Efren Piña Florida. In 2006, Valdez along with his friends founded the championing community children's case action. This is an organization which aims at giving hope and showing the straight children they can transform their own lives and inspire others to do as well. Throughout Valdez's organization, he has helped more than 10,000 children in his community. He was able to inspire and help so many younger just through his own life experiences, which show just how extraordinary he really is.